In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to easily identify and remove blemishes in Photoshop. So remember, blemish removal contributes more than 90% to your overall screen retouching and maybe the rest of it, 10% is more of evening out the skin tones to get a very fine image. But however much you try to retouch your images and you still have those blemishes, your images are not going to be looking good at all. So make sure you take into consideration blemish removal as one of the most important steps to skin retouching so in this tutorial i'll show you guys how you can easily identify every single blemish in all your images and for this tutorial i'm going to be using my action because i don't want the tutorial to be a very long one so i want to use my actions and for those interested in my retouching essentials pack i'm going to put the link in the description of this video so that you can buy and purchase these lots to support this channel for the content that we create for you guys so you can buy my retouching essentials pack and also my skin tone lots to speed up your retouching and color grading process in photoshop so let's kick in and start learning about the major emphasis for today's tutorial so i'm just going to come to my actions right here and i'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action. So you can see these are actions that are part of my retouching essentials pack. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to play my action. And you know what we do on this step? We make sure that we blur out the textures from the overall image. So usually the radius may be at that point, 0 0.1. So we blur out completely the textures from the image. So I think at around I think around 10 is where I have the textures lost out and simply hit OK. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to delete this because uh, I want you guys, even those that don't have the black and white layer inside of the frequency separation, I want them to understand each and every step as you're trying to remove the blemishes. So in order to remove the blemishes, if at all you wish, you can create a black and white layer inside of your frequency separation group. And if at all you don't want to interfere with your layers of frequency separation, you can come in to the adjustments and come to black and white just like that. So in order to deal with uh, the skin textures and see every kind of blemish quite well, you have to simply come to the reds and yellows. Remember, skin tones or skin textures are part of maybe the yellows and the reds so when i darken the reds you can see that i am now trying to see every tiny skin imperfection and when i turn up the yellows that will make it look a little bit better by lightening up the yellows so in this case i'll be able to see every skin imperfection so you darken the reds and slightly brighten up as the yellows just like that and here you can see every imperfection so you can see right here you can see very few blemishes but here you can see almost each and every tiny blemish in the image so the next thing is going to be how we can remove or deal away with the blemishes the best way possible so i'm just going to come to the frequency separation group and remember blemishes are usually part of uh, the textures that are embedded in the high frequency layer during the frequency separation technique so i'm just going to come and select the high frequency layer then the next thing I, I want to do is choosing the best tool that is going to help me remove the blemishes so different people use various tools to remove blemishes but when you use some tools they can tend to leave some patches in the images so if at all i come and I select the spot healing brush tool. There are those instances whereby I come, maybe I come and maybe click right here. So sampling is on the, is not checked rather. It means that we are only working with the textures in the high frequency layer. So make sure you don't check this because you don't want to sample information from the rest of the layers in the image. So if at all, I just come and click right there. I'm basically showing you guys the disadvantage of using the spot healing brush tool to remove blemishes in some instances. So I'm just going to come back and I turn off the black and white layer. So in this case, when I 
hold command plus on the keyboard and use the space bar to zoom in you can see this fair area has lost out on the original textures and the details that were originally embedded in them so i wouldn't recommend you guys to use this for blemish removal so i'm just going to hit Control or command a z or i could come to my history panel just right here and i could come and undo that so that i can have the image reset i'm just going to come back to the texture or high frequency layer and the other thing you have to take into consideration is when you're removing the blemishes always and always make sure that you zoom all the way in to see every tiny blemish the best way possible so the next tool you can use is using the healing brush tool and how this basically works you have to select at the layers that you want to sample in the image so for this case i only want to work on the current layer so when you select current layer, it means that you're only going to be dealing with the textures in the high frequency layer. when you select the maybe current and blue it means that you're also going to be sampling the colors that are embedded in as the low frequency layer which you don't want we only want to deal with the textures in the image so how this works after making sure that you are on your current layer you have to reduce on the size of uh, the tool that you're using to remove the blemishes depending on how big the blemish is so in order to remove these blemishes you have to sample by holding down the alternate button or the alternate key on the keyboard and left clicking on the area that is close to the blemish and simply left clicking over the blemish to get rid of it so in this way you're going to be manually selecting and replacing the blemish uh, with cleaner skin so that is a better way to remove blemishes because as you're using the spot healing brush tool you're going to be having those patches because photoshop is not going to be knowing the best skin to sample and replace the blemish with so that is uh, for the use of a healing brush tool so you can as well come and use the patch tool to remove blemishes by simply coming and left clicking and drawing over the blemish and dragging that blemish to a clean area to uh, get rid of it just like that and this also does a pretty nice job because you are automatically moving the blemish to an area that you want to replace that blemish with so i think you can see how this is working so the next tool and my most preferred tool for blemish, blemish removal rather is the clone stamp tool and how this works i'm just going to zoom out and how this works it works like the healing brush tool so how i'm zooming in and out i'm using command plus or command minus or in order to increase on the size of the tool i'm using the box brackets on the keyboard to either increase or decrease on the size of the tool i'm going to use to remove the blemish remover and for this case i'm using the clone stamp tool so in order to remove these blemishes i'm simply going to make sure sampling is on the current layer since i only want to deal with the layer that contains the skin imperfections or blemishes and start sampling so i'm going to hold down the alternate to sample alternate left click to sample from a clean skin area that is next to the blemish and simply release the alternate and left click over over the blemish to uh, get rid of it so that is how this works and this really does a pretty a uh, nice job to clean up a uh, skin or get rid of the blemishes from your images so i think you can see how this is dealing and working on uh, these images and it is not getting rid of the original textures that are meant to be in the image so i would recommend you guys to learn how to use this as a tool for removing blemishes so i'm just going to turn off the black and white layer and show you guys the before and after it is really doing a flawless job to remove the skin imperfections or blemishes from this very image so this is a tutorial about how to remove or identify the blemishes and remove them from your images before or after doing the skin retouching. 
and if at all you have loved this video don't forget to like it and subscribe this channel if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more shows and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating